Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Guys, I am so excited to be doing this video because it's near and dear to my heart. It's pretty much the reason why I started this channel. And it's like my goal in color tube life <laughs> to really emphasize what this video is about. And it's, it's actually who I am and what I stand for in the coloring community. Now, this video is actually per request by one of my lovely, lovely, lovely viewers. And she actually left me the most heartwarming, touching comment that, I mean, I've, that I've ever read. I mean, it was just, it was adorable. So she's the reason why I am doing this video today for you guys. And her name is Glenda. Hi, Glenda. <laughs> and... Glenda made a comment on um, the last uh, supplies like starter kit video that I did and I will link that video above for you guys so you can check that out if you'd like to but it was a uh, the best budget starter kit for adult coloring and Glenda wrote a note to me or a comment to me saying that she would love to see a starter kit for children because she's actually a youth, a young person. And she was saying how much, you know, a lot of color tubers gear their videos towards uh, teens and adults, but none really gear it towards children. So she was like, hey, there is a lot of us kids out here that watch your, you guys videos. So <laughs> can you let us know what's a starter kit for us? <laughs> But she just she just blew me away. I'm like, the kids, the young people in today's society, they are just they are just old souls. They are just <laughs> they're like nothing like we were growing up. So shout out to you, Glenda, and thanks so much for watching my channel and thanks so much for being just awesome, okay? <laughs> So this one's for you. <laughs> so today's video is pretty much going to be the best beginner supplies for kids, teens, adults, whatever age you are. This is going to be like a guideline for you. OK, so let's get started now. First and foremost, what you have to have in your starter kit is, of course, you got to have you some books, right? Got to have you some books. And I would recommend, like I said in the last video that I did on the starter kit, go to your local uh, dollar store, uh, whether it be Dollar General, they have some really nice coloring books these days. Family Dollar, they have some nice coloring book books. Dollar Tree, and every now and then you can find a Diamond in the Rough really good coloring book with them. But they use, usually just have kind of the copy paper type books, which can frustrate some, you know, at times. But if that's all you have that's kind of budget friendly, then hey. Get your mom or your dad or your significant other or whoever it is or yourself to get you a couple of books that aren't that expensive. But make sure you get a couple different styles or a few different styles, at least three, three different styles of books before you invest in like. 20 books that are super high quality and expensive, know what your coloring style is, know what you like coloring, okay? Know if you like coloring mandalas, if you like coloring words, if you'd like coloring people, if you like coloring animals, if you like coloring 
fashion, furniture, flowers, just whatever it is, just get a few inexpensive books that you can kind of experiment and see what you enjoy. Now, the reason I say this is because this is where I failed at the beginning of my journey. I just purchased everything and anything that was a good deal. I mean, if it was a $3 book, I bought it. I don't care what style it was. If it was a mandala, if it was a panda, (laughs) pandala, (laughs) I bought it because I really didn't know. I just said, oh, I want to do adult coloring. So just let me get everything. You know, I didn't spend a whole lot of money like on the individual books, but once, you know, 10 books at $3, hey, 30 bucks is a lot when you when you look at it, you know. <laughs> so start out with just a few books, you know, that you can just pretty much color and just kind of figure out what you like coloring. So I'm going to go through a few of the books that I have that can kind of decipher through what you may or may not be into coloring. So let's start with maybe fashion or people. This is one of the books that I actually got off eBay when I first started my journey. I just started buying stuff off of eBay because it was like super duper inexpensive. And... The person that sold me this book, the seller, they actually uh, listed the book as um, used like new, but in actuality, it was kind of more used than like new, (laughs) but it was okay. It was all right. I've never colored in it. I never put pen to paper in this book, you know, because it pretty much, I mean, it, it, I I could have worked with this. This is, this is really what I was looking for, but I just, I just had other books that were more enjoyable for me. So in this book, you can practice on skin tones, eye color. I mean, Hey, it's a perfect book to just play with. Hey, it even has a few patterns in it. And, and, and see, here's what another person colored. <laughs> they colored the lips. I think the person that had this book before me, they had a fetish for lips because they colored like a lot of the lips in here. Yeah, they see, they colored her lips too. <laughs> so they had a lip thing, but this book will help you to figure out, Hey, do I like coloring fashion? Do I like coloring people? Do I like coloring objects? You know, it'll kind of give you an idea of what you may or may not be into when it comes to coloring, okay? So this book kind of covers, you know, quite a few different things. Here are some perfume bottles. You can practice on coloring glass. So I figure... It's with the wide open spaces, not a lot of detail. This will be great for a beginner. So even if it's not particularly this specific book, find a book like it, you know, similar to it where you can figure out there's another lip color. (laughs) Told you, lip fetish. So find a book that gives you like a wide range of what you can play with, with your style to kind of figure out what you like. And once you figure that out, you can just go from there in what you like to color. One of the next items or books, you may like coloring animals or Zentangle type um, coloring books. So... Me personally, I figured out way down the line, many, many, many coloring books later that I didn't care for Zentangle type uh, coloring. And Zentangle is these small little intricate details that you usually would probably use for, now see, I like this page right here. That's, That's cute. I will work with that and do some backgrounds and all that good stuff. And that one too, I like that one. But Zentangle is where you would have to use like a fine liner or gel pen or something to that nature 
to really get into those little detailed areas. I'm not a colorist that likes detail. I'm not really into detail. I don't have the patience for it. Now this is cute. I mean, it's detailed, but I think I can probably work with something like that. So it's just like a lot of different things usually come in different books that you can kind of figure out what you like, but you have to first figure out what type of coloring you like. So, you know, don't purchase, I would, you know, suggest don't purchase, you know, these expensive books, these 10, 12, $20 books that everyone else is talking about and it's popular and you end up not liking that style. Now, this is only for those beginning your journey, you know, so if you're well into your journey and you know what type of books and supplies you like, then you got it. You got it. You know, hey, roll with it. But a lot of times we may say, oh, I'm still learning. You know, I'll keep these books just in case in the future if I ever turn to liking this style. Well, that is kind of true because I have found myself having a desire to color mandalas when, especially in the beginning, I was kind of into them, but didn't really know. But now I'm like, I kind of want to color a mandala or two. <laughs> so, hey, maybe your style will change. But in the beginning, try not to spend a whole lot of money or just, just get a few. If you do want to try, you know, those books that everyone is talking about, then maybe, you know, just get that one book and don't buy the whole series of books. Because I know some of us, including myself, have the full set syndrome <laughs> and we want to get all the Hannah Carlson books, right? <laughs> From A to Z, okay? <laughs> so maybe you like coloring, you know, and look how detailed this one is. Oh my goodness. It would take me 18,000 million years to color this. So maybe you like animals. So if you, you kind of can figure out what you're into if you know what you like in life. Like for me, I love interior design. I love fashion. I love just making people look pretty, making myself look pretty. So I knew I would love books. I didn't know that at first. I didn't know that at the beginning. I wish someone would have told me. <laughs> but I knew that I would love coloring people and fashion and interior design and I love nature also so I like landscapes and stuff but I'm not super into coloring landscapes at the moment so it's just you just have to know where you are so even if you're a kid even if you're a child you know what you like you know if you like coloring even as a child I liked coloring like people and clothes and houses. I love that kind of stuff. So those were the type of coloring books that I was, you know, drawn to. So if that's the kind of like the Barbie coloring books, oh my goodness, you talking about a Barbie girl? I loved me some Barbie. So I usually got those types of coloring books. So if those are the type of coloring books, if you like people and things like that, Barbie coloring books. They sell those at the Dollar Tree all day, every day. So get you a couple of those or no, just get one of those if you're at the beginning of your journey. I know like for parents, they usually purchase their kids, you know, something that they know their kids would like. Like if you know your little boy loves trucks and cars, you won't purchase him a giraffe coloring book or a Winnie the Pooh coloring book. You will go try to find him a truck and car coloring book themed coloring book, a truck and car themed coloring book, right? So that's what we have to do even for ourselves. If you're a child and you get your parents to take you to the dollar store or Walmart or Dollar General or wherever it is, and you pick you out one coloring book or two coloring books of something that you may like, start your journey off that way. Maybe you like coloring words. So some people doesn't don't like, you know, word themed coloring books, but these coloring books come with a wide variety of, you know, Zentangle designs, 
flowers, large spaces, uh, small spaces, intricacy, you know, food, fruit, just all kinds of things that you can do with a like a word coloring book with like themes and stuff. And these will be like perfect for you to frame. Some people doesn't like, don't like, why do I keep saying doesn't like? Some people don't like word themed coloring books. I have yet to color in one. No, I have colored of uh, words. Yes, it's only been a few, but I don't tend to gravitate towards the word theme coloring books but hey maybe one day i will hopefully so maybe you like this so they have a lot of these in the dollar store that you can try <clears throat> so yes so that's the books get yourself a few coloring books so you can kind of figure out what your thing is in coloring and don't make a mistake like I did and just purchase any and everything and just try to figure it out after you get a hundred coloring books then you figure out oh this is my style no 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 don't do that please <laughs> because you'll find yourself saying I have all these coloring books that I'll never color in yes I can donate them yes I can give them away you know but it just, it just seems like such a waste. And I didn't really understand that at first, but I wish I would have started off with just a few and then figured out my style before I just went haywire crazy at the beginning of my journey and didn't know my style or what I liked coloring in. The next thing you wanna make sure of is what you like coloring with, your coloring supplies. Now, of course, everyone has to start out with some color pencils. I mean, color pencils, that's, well, no, let me take that back. Now that I'm, I've tried Sharpies and markers, <laughs> no, everybody does not have to start out with color pencils. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. So let me go ahead and include these at the same time. Figure out whether you are a marker person or a pencil person. And let me go ahead and add this in, or a pen person gel pen person you're going to start out with one of the three so i would recommend getting not your cheapest well no not i can't say cheapest not your lowest quality brand of pencils because that will frustrate you it frustrated me i started off with a brand from Joann's. I didn't even start off with Crayola. I started off with a brand from Joann's called, I forgot the brand. Oh my goodness. But those pencils were horrible. I mean, they were scratchy. They didn't have much pigment. They Crayola had more pigment than them. So start out with a decent size set of colored pencils, possibly Crayola if you, you know, if you can a bigger set than 24 you know I would say get more than 24 colors maybe get the do Crayola have a 48 set or I know they have a 50 so maybe start out with the 50 set they're only like seven or eight dollars and now at Walmart the 100 is like 12 or 13 dollars 14 dollars so if you can save up your money as a child if you can get the 100 Crayola set or the 50 Crayola set for like $7, that would be great. But start out with a large, semi-large set of decent colored pencils. And if you're going to do markers, <clears throat> because usually even kids know what type of coloring medium they like. Uh, when I was a kid, I liked colored pencils. I didn't really care for crayons. I didn't really care for markers. I didn't care for pens because I figured pens are for writing and markers, they just run out so fast. I can't imagine myself coloring a whole page with markers because I felt like I was wasting the product and it was just gonna be gone and I'll never have any more markers. I run out mid page or something. So I, I pretty much like colored pencils. So kids these days, my nieces and nephews, they love colored pencils. They are like color pencil addicts. So if you're a kid, color pencils, go for it. But if you are 
toward markers or pens or paints or something, figure that out. You know what you like to color with or paint with or create art with. So go and buy you a inexpensive version of that in your dollar stores, your Walmarts, your Dollar Generals, you can find some really good items from those places, especially Walmart. And if you can get someone to order for you, or if you yourself, if you're an adult or a teen can color, uh, color can order off of Amazon, that's a great place to find inexpensive coloring products, but figure out which one of these you like. At the beginning of my coloring journey, I knew I liked color pencils. And now I'm finally getting into markers and pens so-so for like accents or so forth. So figure out which one of these mediums you like the best, okay? Next. You would definitely need yourself a pencil sharpener if you're going to go with color pencils, okay? Let's talk about accents. Well, before we talk about accents, these are just pencil necessities. You need your eraser, you need a pencil sharpener. I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people are like, why would you need an eraser? You can't erase color pencils. You can erase it a little bit. So get yourself an eraser if you're gonna do color pencils and a pencil sharpener. Next, we're talking about different little accents and so forth. So go and get yourself some glitter glue. Now you can get glitter glue from Dollar Tree. That's the least expensive place I've seen where you can get glitter glue. They sell like a pack of 10 for like a dollar. And that's what I started off with because this adds so much. I mean, it just adds something to your page that just your markers and color pencils just cannot give it, okay? The next thing you may want to try out is some type of paint pen. Now, what I started out and what I still use is the whiteout pen from Jot. You get two of these for a dollar. And I've seen like renowned artists use that whiteout pen, okay? But get yourself something white that you can do accents with. That's if you're going a little bit advanced. Some people may be like, well, I'm a beginner. I don't want to use, you know, an accent pen or white out pen or white paint. I don't know what I'm doing. Some white dots on a black background can make your starry night just amazing. So starting out in your journey to have different little options, it, it makes it more enjoyable. It makes your journey just become something that you wouldn't have expected, you know, <laughs> The next thing that I would recommend is just figuring out what you like to play with and don't be afraid to experiment. I mean, if you go to the dollar store and you see some watercolor pencils and that's where I got my first set of watercolor pencils from the Dollar Tree. It was a set of six. I have them somewhere in my collection, but they were just amazing. I absolutely love them. They were wonderful quality. And the Dollar Tree also sells paint brushes. So you can get your paint brushes and if you want to play with watercolor, but that's after you figured out what you like to color with. If you start to get bored with, you know, the medium that you used or your book that you have or whatever, then move on to something different or something new. But guys, so far, what I'm trying to say to you from my mistakes, learn from my mistakes, guys. Try not to just purchase items just because they're there and just because they're at a good price or just because everyone else says, I'm using this and this is awesome. Go buy what you know you like. And that way you'll have use for everything in your your arsenal. In the arsenal in your, is that, is that a word? <laughs> arsenal? I, uh, anything in your collection you can use. How about that? Let's just simplify this thing on up. <laughs> So guys, the big surprise that you have seen on the thumbnail is that 
Everything that I featured in this video is going to be inserted into a giveaway. Yay! <laughs> yes, guys, I am doing a giveaway for you because you guys are so awesome. And I just had to show my appreciation for everything you guys have done for me. You just, oh my goodness. I whew, Okay, this is going to be called the best beginner supplies for kids, teens, and adult giveaway, you know. And you guys, I keep saying you guys, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired and I don't know how to talk. I'm so appreciative. I, I just want to give back. I plan on doing a few giveaways, a few charities, just of trying to show my appreciation because you have watched my videos. You stuck with me. It's been almost two years that I've had this channel and you've been here with me and it's been just a journey that I would have never imagined and I would like to give back. You guys have given me so much in your support, in your gifts, in your happy mail, in your donations, just everything that you have done for me. If I can just give back an ounce, I, I want to give it to you. <laughs> so guys, here we go. First, let me share with you everything that you'll be getting. I know that you were kind of like, okay, wait a minute. What, what were you giving? I don't know. I missed it. <laughs> well, I'm going to be giving you guys this coloring book. Words to Color by Live, Laugh, Love by Timeless Creations, Crazy Arts. And this is an awesome coloring book. Very, very popular amongst uh, some colorists because, hey, they love coloring little things like this. It's, you know, you can frame these things after you color them. You can give them as a gift, but this is gift number one that's going to be in the giveaway number two will be this coloring book the animal kingdom colorful coloring book and you have a bunch of your animals in here cutesy 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 parrots little old giraffe here i don't know what he is a wolf uh i don't know i'm just gonna give up it coyote i don't know just he's something no that's a cutie lion oh my goodness i've never seen a lion with florals in his doodad <laughs> so that's coloring book number two and coloring book number three would be the fashion coloring book we have a full double spread of some shoes <laughs> we have some cat faced it ladies with some type of spaceship type of clothes on guys i don't know don't make me oh we have the lady with her lips colored sorry and then what's so cool about this coloring book you can kind of make up your own fashion show fashionista thing you know doing interviews while you color and all that kind of stuff it's pretty interactive it's cute i like it so we've got a couple of bunny rabbits here with some cute little clothes. So in this one, you can really practice your skin tones and your fashion and clothes and all that good stuff. So that'll be three coloring books I will be giving you guys, the winner. And I would also like to share with you something that I didn't feature in the video, but this is gonna be a little something extra that you'll have to color would be this Johanna Basford bookmark. You will be getting this in the giveaway. You can color both sides. Next, you will be getting a couple of postcards out of the Millie Morata Animal Kingdom postcard coloring book and it has a few floral pictures with a cup with a bug or bee or whatever that bee yes that's what that is and another floral picture with a 
box curled all up made up of flowers and leaves so you'll be getting those two bookmarks also this sticky note coloring pad made up of flowers by crown jewels so you'll be getting this to color a pack of sticky notes And next in the supply realm, you guys will be getting, or you person, <laughs> will be getting the Sevo Premium Vivid Vibrant and Round Color Pencils. There are 36 with a gold and, gold and silver pencil and a four millimeter lead. And these are very nice pencils. I love the way these color. They color very nice. So you will be getting this pack of pencils. You would also be receiving this set of Prismacolor Scholar markers. And I think these are water-based markers. Yes. Yes, they are water-based, low odor, low odor ink. So what I actually did was I wanted to include, there's only two, four, six, eight in here. Two of them, I don't know what happened to them, but I replaced them with these two Sharpies. A metal Sharpie, not metal, metallic Sharpie, the metallic silver, and this dual ended Sharpie, lime green. So these are alcohol based, so you'll get a chance to see whether you like alcohol-based markers or water-based markers. So this will be something cool for you to try out and see if you like markers. The next thing in the marker area is this Galaxy Marker from American Crafts. This is the White Galaxy Paint Pen. It has a medium point. And it has paint like ink, paint like ink for light and dark pages. So this is to make your details and all that good stuff if you'd like. Then we have these three glitter glues from Elmer that you will be getting. Also an eraser, high polymer, and this little pencil sharpener. Also... I would like to give you guys some comfort <laughs> just to try out this little pencil wrap just in case you know us colorists our pencil wounds are on our finger and once we color for so long it kind of hurts your hand so this little pencil wrap has been like a lifesaver for me in coloring so you can try this one out to see if you like those pencil wraps this one is brand new i got it out of a pack i think it had like eight in the pack or four in the pack and um i opened the pack and i said hey let me share one with you guys so i never used it but this is one of the new ones that i got out of the pack for you also these rainbow pencils kind of mimics my favorite tritone pencils has like rainbow colors like four different colors in the lead and you can see if you like the tritone type pencils have those for you also in the pencil category we have some neon colored mechanical pencils that i would like to give you they're by Office Depot, and hey, these mechanical pencils are great for those little tiny detail areas when you don't have to sharpen your pencil. You can just grab these and just take them with you, and boom, bada bing, bada boom, you got you some coloring going on. Next, guys, I would like to give you guys some pens. These are some gel pens that... I would like to share with you and also a few of the fine liners from the Dollar Tree. These, um, I used, I had, I bought two sets of these. So the other set 
I'm keeping for myself and I use them and they were okay. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fan of pens, but I use them for small details. I don't use them for coloring like a whole picture because to me, that's like, mm, doesn't work for me. Okay, so next, last but not least, I will be giving you guys some of the Aquarelle Art Grip Fiber Castell pencils. I got these open stock and I figured these three particular pencils will be great for you to use on skin tones, light, medium, and dark colored skin tones. And you can even like use the light one and then like shade or something with the darker colors. But if you'd like to try them out, they were available open stock and that's how I bought these. I bought them open stock. So I'm going to be giving you guys these three pencils to try it on your skin tones and you know, you can't have watercolor pencils without a watercolor brush, right? So I'm going to be giving you guys this watercolor brush so that you can try it out with your watercolor pencils. So guys, that is everything that you will be receiving in this giveaway. So I hope you guys like what you see. Now I will be letting you know right now how you can win these prizes, okay? So, woo, here we go. First and foremost, sadly, this giveaway is only going to be for U.S. residents because shipping has actually recently went up. And I mean, it's recently like a couple weeks ago went up even higher. And all of my previous giveaways have been international. <clears throat> so I will be doing an international giveaway very, very soon. Trust me. But right now for this one, it's got to stay for the U.S. only. So I'm sorry on my international fam. Next time, I got you. I'm telling you, I got you guys. So it's going to be for U.S. only. And you have to be a subscriber. I would like for you to like this video. And what you have to do, this is going to be a kind of how well do you know me slash scavenger hunt type of thing deal <laughs> so what i need you to do is go to my latest well it's not my latest video because i have some videos before this one but my latest finished pages video that's what i want to say i would link it here but go to that video and find the answer to these two questions when did i start coloring and what is my favorite coloring book now once you go to that video and find those answers don't leave that video just quite yet. Stay there for a second and leave a comment. <laughs> Even if you just leave an emoji or a dot or a hey or a bye, just say something in that video so that I can know that you went over to that video and just was there for a second or two, okay? Then once you find that answer, come back to this video and put the answer below to those two questions. When did I start coloring? What is my favorite coloring book? Okay, so I'll be looking for the person who commented on both those videos and who has the correct answer. And once I compile that list of people, I will randomly pick a winner next Sunday on March the 10th. This giveaway will be open for one week, I will close the giveaway at 11.59 Sunday night on March the 10th. So guys, what do you think? Is this enough information for man, woman, and child <laughs> to begin their coloring experience? And I think, you know, you know, we can, we can, you know, we can pretty much figure out that Nisi over overdid it on on her, you know, 
on her experience, on her beginner's experience at the beginning. Yes, she did. But she doesn't want for you to follow in that same path. <laughs> she wants for you to be successful. And you can be very successful once you win all these lovely gifts. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like winning free stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love coloring. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and look forward to a lot more giveaways and a lot more cover coloring, not a lot more covering, coloring. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. And as always, happy 